to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. there was a lady mm. who, uh, during COVID Uh-oh. times, she bought a plot of land in Hawaii. Okay, she got idea. she got the plot of land with there was nothing on it for like twenty two thousand dollars. Is it Oprah? It is Oprah. Um, is and, it really? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, and she was she bought it because she wanted to have like she wanted to hold like women's retreats there. Oh my god! Rich, but she couldn't do it during COVID, Rich, so Rich, she's like, I bought me. the land. I'm gonna hang out, and we'll do the thing. Uh-huh. So, uh huh. So, she goes to the land. And shows up, and there is a a five hundred thousand dollar house built on her property. And she's like, "Hey, yo, I uh, yeah didn't order this five hundred thousand dollar house on this property, hmm. and somebody else did." Uh, yeah. So what happened I, was, yeah, I wonder what's the protocol for this. Well, I'm gonna get into that. I'm sure. So you will. a construction company built a house part on her land. Because and then basically they they didn't they chose not to get the land surveyed, and then just built the house in the wrong spot. This is what happened. Oh, so somebody effed up. They effed up and built a house on her land. So it looks like they have two choices. Yep. Either they leave the house here and they eat the cost, or they take the house down and they move it. Right? Um. Well, what happened was what happened they was, uh, they told her that they would uh, sell her the house at a cheap discount. Nah, I don't want it. Or that they would like trade her plots of land for like the plot right next to it. No, nah, I'm good. Still it open. No, nah, exactly good. that. She turned both of them down. Yeah. So what do they do? They sued her. <laughs> How do you sue me? I'm just chilling. I don't know. That that's the that's I I didn't understand from the story either. She's just big chilling. Are you gonna sue her? She's like she comes to visit her plot of land. You built a goddamn house on it. And you're like, hey, pay us or take a different plot. And she's like, no, I bought the plot I bought. And they're like, suing you. What, like, are, what are they suing her for though? This is the question. Because she's not cooperating. You don't know. <laughs> Who's not fat, you bro? don't know. Truth you don't not know. Fat. Truth <laughs> not. The story fat. goes is that she pulled a gun on the guy. Nah, <laughs> nah. I'm just saying, it's like if if they're gonna sue her, I gotta know what the hell they're suing her for. And that seems that seems very important to the story. I'm sorry. Yeah, there was some squatters that were, she said that when she went there, there, there was poop is. in the house. There it is. No, she didn't do anything. Not suing her for so, that. So no, check it, man. These squatters have been uh has been a thing that has been blowing up lately. Man. I've heard more a lot about squatters lately. Yep, New Jersey, New York area has been happening a lot lately. Man, it's crazy. Patterson's getting hit hard but i i just don't understand like because the i know the laws in new york are a little bit different than uh right. some uh, some other states but it seems like if a person takes up residence in in that area for like 30 days then it can take you years to get them out of the property i don't understand how that's a thing i don't understand how like you can just go into a vacant building and stay there and then they have to like legally remove you Exactly. That is insane. It is insane. It's like if like your neighbor goes on vacation for like two months and you know it, you just go stay in their house and when they come back, it's my house now. And they're like, No, it's not like uh huh. Yeah, I've been living I've been living here two months. <laughs> they they really need to work on this one. This yeah. law needs to be worked on. I agree. I don't understand how squatters' rights even came into existence. Because it's supposed to essentially like keep you from evicting a person and making them homeless, I guess. Um, but if they're homeless and they take a home that isn't theirs, yeah, it's it's very easily uh, exploitable. Yes, is the problem. Uh, the reason they pulled the reason they sued her is because they said that they figured they would just pull everyone into a lawsuit and hope the judge would sort it out. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's a bold, said. a bold move. Cotton. Yeah. 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 Because here's what the judge is going to do. Be like, you assholes didn't survey the land and built a house. Take the loss. Bye. Yeah. And pay for it if she wants it demolished. 
Yeah. And honestly, the land needs to be returned to its former glory. So I'm going to need you to sod and seed everything down. Yeah, I want you to destroy the house, remove it, and put some grass down. There were some coconut trees out there. That you oh, better put. where are my trees at? Hey, where are my trees at? What, what? Would you squat? Would I squat? Yeah. I don't know, man. It seems like you got to be, like, pretty obstinate to do something like yeah i'd be a pretty big jerk to do it is what like, i'm saying and like just can you like never i don't leave? care if i'm a jerk can you never leave like we gotta go get groceries and they just like take the house back yeah that's the thing you gotta always leave somebody there you can't come into my house this is my house now i'm in my house <laughs> i don't he's, he's like we went to the mall he's like it's my house now yeah sorry my house i live here now thanks See, I don't know if I could sit there and just, like, be that guy. It's just like, no, it's mine now. Sorry. Just like, the guy who's, like, a dick to be a dick? Yeah, just knowing full well that you're in the wrong, that you're lying, that it's bullshit. But you're like, no, technically, the law says I've been. It's my house, technically. That's crazy. You call the sheriff. He's going to tell you. We, we got. I saw one where a lady uh, was trying to get the squatters out of her house. And uh, eventually she did, and she, like, got the locks changed. And then, like, she was at the house again, like, cleaning everything up. And the cops actually came and arrested her because she got the squatters out of the house, but not in legal fashion. Oh, my God. It, it's, it can get pretty insane, man. It can get pretty insane. I So I'm glad that's not the case here where it was squatters' rights because I would just be livid. And I'm well, already yeah, on this. She's there, like, mm -hmm. put up a fence or something because, like, people were checking it out. It was just an empty house. People were like, oh, I'm about to go squat in there. Exactly. Every time I hear squatting, I think of, like, pooping. <laughs> Do you do you just that the way you go? Is that how you do it? But it just sounds you like go gargoyle style, my <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I just I do. You just like grab the side of the bowl with like your feet and your hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> like one of those birds that like dips his head in the water, and you're just like sitting there and just like Grr. I perch, dude. Look you like I look perch like gargoyle. Up there. Yep. That's it. Oh, Jonas, that's cool. That's that's really neat. It takes a lot of balance, okay? I hear that that is the uh, the way you're supposed to go, like the way your body, our bodies are built. That's we're, why they have squatty potties. Exactly. We so were you built. Like put your knees into your chest. We were built to essentially like squat down and just take a shit, man. Apparently, toilets are not like the way the human body is created. Ima imagine that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've heard. I mean, people people swear by squatty potties. They say, uh, I don't have any problems, so I don't need a squatty potty. But no, like, oh man, bro, mine, man, sometimes like a shotgun blast. I'm like, oh, sh I hope I didn't break the porcelain. <laughs> you know? Just like, just like, like earthquakes in the, in the seat. Exactly. I don't know where I'm keeping it all. I don't know where it's, <laughs> it's in there somewhere. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, what would you do if you owned a piece of property and somebody just built a goddamn house on it? I don't know. I'd get him out of there. Get out of there, guy. I'd get him out of there. I don't know. Get out of there, guy. Yeah, get out of there. Is that there. what you would do? Yeah, stop. Stop. <laughs> hey, stop. I don't. I hate to. I don't. I'm not a violent person, me but I mean, people I make me think violent thoughts, and so. I don't know. I don't want to say necessarily what I'm thinking because that's not necessarily what I would do. So oh, that, yeah. that is the thing that I will say is that I'm like my brain is saying angry things, but my body would be like, eh. your mind's telling you no. You know, maybe I should give this guy a chance to. Oh, tell, you're just going to live with him? Tell his Let size. Let him squat of, with you? I mean, you know, maybe like he can like do the dishes. Spare bedroom, you going to squat? You going to do dishes? He can do the dishes. Take the trash out. I like sometimes, that. Sometimes you gotta, you know, roll with the punches. Would you uh, even with your move in with a homeless man? If he was Would gonna... I move in with a homeless man? If he, or let a homeless man move in with you? I will. If I'm moving in with a homeless man, that means I'm moving into his cardboard box. So are you, are you gonna let him move that, in with you? The answer to that question is no. I would not. Yeah, but you let him move in with. He's like, listen, I can clean dishes. All right, so now you're saying is that would I move a homeless man into where I'm staying, which is probably going to be a step up for him. Like, this is some 
pretty woman scenario apparently yeah yeah you're, you're essentially a sugar daddy okay um that the answer to that one is a probably a no um as well if he was really cute you think about it but like i don't know if there was like some good samaritan contest where i like win like a couple million dollars or something <laughs> let then, a yeah. homeless man live with you and you win a million dollars i mean we're talking in hypotheticals so i'm not really <laughs> sure which way we're going and then jesus comes down yeah, uh, yeah yeah there's a lot that could happen i agree you know okay depends on the circumstances good talk yeah i try <laughs> all right that's all the time we have this episode please make sure to like and subscribe for jonas tnt oh yeah